Now, must do, do. Give orders. You must not do this. You must not do that. Because he's the elder brother. The dragon blow. Just take a look at the guy. No more fighting's no good. He'd make short work of a girl. You can't have so soon forgotten. Our master's words. This dragon blow is for life and death combat. You mean I mustn't use it? No matter when? You use teacher's words to control me. Huh? Come back. Come back. Hear me. You always get so angry. Don't forget. We must return home quickly. Why do you always look for trouble? Hmm. Again, keep in mind our teacher's dying words. The dragon blow makes the user weaker and also exposes who we are. You shouldn't use it against such runs. You'll make okay. it... Okay! Okay, you've read me another lecture. I'm not listening. I'm not your slave. Our teacher forbade it. I'm your senior. Do what you're told. Stop preaching to me! Cillian! 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 Take the child. Best you give it to us. You leave us alone. You can't escape. Go! You always interfere and cause trouble for us. You're so pig-headed. What's the use? But you can't stop me.
attacking an old woman and fighting a child. What do you want? <laughs> My fists are raring to go. <laughs> Tell me, who are those men? Thank you. Charles, how do you feel? Could you take her away? Find her. And who is her father? Where does he live? your grandma and you? I do not know. Well now, your mama and your papa, where are they? I don't know where they are. <laughs> Come on, surely your mama and papa's address. You must know it now. For years and years I've lived with grandma. I've never been to see either my papa or my mama. <laughs> I heard your grandma say, your papa's called Sir Ma Jing. Am I right? <sighs> How am I supposed to... She asked me to take you to your papa. You've done it now. I told you don't interfere. Sort this one out, my fine young lady. It'll be ages till we arrive home. So you'd have gone and not helped her? Right, right, right. Have it your own way. Just tell me how this child can find her father now, huh? Huh? Don't worry yourself. Huh? Don't think I'm going to abandon a poor child. To go home's what I want. Hmm. We'll find the child's father, then return. Right then. You may take her to find him. My patience is at an end. Now then. Let me go find my papa myself. <laughs> no. I'll see you get safely to papa. And mama. Oh, thank you. You're so good. <laughs> Sister! 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 Damn it. 
Anna. She's so impetuous. She's sure to find trouble. Maggie, if we're leaving secret and on our own, won't you better moan some more? Maybe. I'm sure he'll be angry. Stop worrying. We must get you to your papa safely. Brother can moan all he wants. Huh? Mm. One dime. <laughs> I wonder if I'm looking for a, a man called Sir Ma Jing around here. Yeah. Sir Ma Jing? Uh, this town, there's nobody by the name of Sir Ma at all. Ah, oh, thank you. Uh, pleasure. So long now. Pardon me. I've never come across a Seema in my life. You should go somewhere else. Uh, thank you. A uh, pleasure. <laughs> Excuse me, miss. Is there something you're looking for? Yes, sir. Uh, what you said just now. You're looking for Seema Jing, aren't you? Yes. Can you tell us where to seek him <laughs> out? I'm not sure. Could be you're looking for a guy who's a good friend of mine. Uh, this... This guy you're looking for, tell me now, uh, would he stand about as tall as me? Uh, a little bigger around the waist, huh? Tell him now. Wouldn't know. Wouldn't know. Wouldn't know? Uh, hey, uh, would he be a G9 man? Hey, tell him now. Wouldn't know. Wouldn't know. Uh, you mean you've never seen this Sam Ah Jing? Never. Uh, my word. Uh, then tell me why you want the man. This, uh... Pardon. We'd better not reveal it. Uh. You, you can't tell me. Now, my name is Xu. There's a friend of mine who's called Sima Jing, coming soon from Jinan. I'm supposed to wait and meet him here. If you two really mean to find this character, best hang around here a while and solve the mystery. That sounds all right. <laughs> well, why you join me at the Flowers Hotel? You can't sleep in the street, so rest the night at the hotel. But... Uh, don't worry, I'll settle. Ah, oh, you're much too kind. Uh, don't mention it. We're all far from home, right? Then I just have to thank you. Uh, please, just say no more. Come, this way. Oh, come, come. Come, right this way, come. please. <laughs> You'll be fine in here. Just let me know if you want anything. Fine. Thank you. <laughs> See Goodbye. you soon. Auntie, mm -hmm. do you think that guy could be my papa's friend, really? <laughs> How can we tell just now? We'll see. Tomorrow when Sima Jing arrives, then we will know. He said he'd buy us food, ask us to be his guest. If the man arriving tomorrow is not Papa, then he could be sore his money's all wasted. We'll find a way. I have gold. Auntie, hmm? do you think I'm bad? What makes you say that nonsense? You take me with you all over the place. You have to use all of your gold. Mustn't worry. 
And he likes you, huh? and change it for money. This chair is so pretty. Now, how did you get it? Yesterday, while we were running, Grandma handed it over to me. She told me on no account to let anyone see me with it. She told me it's worth lots and lots. Hide it away. Auntie has gold. I just told Buddha's mercy can bring your parents and you together safely. Auntie, I bet you that my mama couldn't be as good as you. <laughs> I reckon she's surely better than me. It's you. Come on in. Mm. Report. I've transmitted the news to the old man. Yeah? What commands did he give? He knows that the girl is very dangerous. A couple of dozen guys are on their way here now to reinforce our strength. And before they arrival here, Chief Shu, you have at all costs to keep a very close watch on them. Yeah, all right. Hmm. Uh, Grandma! Grandma! Stop howling me! Stop howling me! Ping. Don't be afraid. Auntie's here. Nobody's holding you, see? Auntie. Now what? Just tell us what's up. Huh. Lady, you listen carefully. Your little friend is important for our secret society. Huh. This is our affair. I trust you won't interfere. I'll give you fair warning. Beat it and leave the child. You just go your way. Don't meddle in our business. This young child. Just what does she mean to you? And why do you want to take her? Huh? <laughs> that is our business. Hmm. You'll find now that's mine too. Damn you, you better watch out!
Come on now. The poor thing's tired. I guess we've come far enough. I can't think they'll pursue us up here. Mm. Hmm. What did you do to this secret society? <laughs> This society's a hangover from the old days. They're really strong in Shandong now, and really evil. Now you're involved with them, we have troubles in store. Uh, the troubles stirred up. I just like to get even. Hmm. Be more work than you think. They're both strong and cruel, and they've several good fighters, skilled with a knife who can take on just about anyone. So what? We studied dragon boxing? Supposed to be successful against that sort of fighter. I hope so. Only recently, the society has gained quite a reputation. And our teacher told us often, unless magic's used, we hold off. When he was near his end, he told us to hide our dragon boxing. Only, now's the time to really use the dragon blow. You mustn't talk so. This affair is mixed up, very confused. We'd better not rush in. Hmm. There's a gang close behind you there. We will go to my house and hide, huh? Now, follow me. Here. Quickly, quickly, hurry. Hurry. Oh, man. Tell me, how did you know a gang was behind us? What's your reason for helping us? Uh, you must all be strangers here. You are not clear about local affairs. The town's all in confusion. You best lay low here for a while. Hmm. Really, old man. You'd like to interfere too, huh? But, uh, it might be dangerous. When I saw you, I wasn't concerned about danger. You better rest a while. I'll cook you all up a little snack. Thank you, old man. Are you out at all? <sighs> Just one or two slight knocks. Some bruises. Mustn't worry. Or try to get to sleep. Mm. Aren't you hungry? Are you? Mm. I'll just fetch some water from the well. in the secret society. Can't be true. Look. The 
men are here already. Wait, I'll show them a few tricks. Sister, if you and I were alone, naturally we'd lead them a pretty dance. As it is, we've got Salping to look after first. You're right. This time I'll listen to you. Let's go. Put a guard on round the back there. Right. What? There's nobody here. Right. Come on. Sure. Get some men and go after them. Right, yes. Yeah. Hmm. Can't escape me any longer now. Xiaoping and the society. Just what could be the link? Well, seems as if they've really got to have her. It's strange. Then the old guy, man who helped us. What could be his angle? To answer those questions, we got to hear all the story of Xiaoping's origins. Then we can guess. Hmm. I'll go to the town and try to get some ideas on the society. And buy a few provisions to eat, too. Okay. Hurry on back now. Right. I could eat a horse. him closely. Find out what he wants. It's your boss. Hey, waiter! Waiter! Hey, hold on, hold on. Now, sir, what's your pleasure? Work out what I owe. Hey, right. Uh, sir, and all that's one silver dollar. Good. Chalk it on the slate. Uh -huh. I'm in the secret society. Uh, 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 Come on, uh, uh, will you do it? Uh, uh, sure, sure. Uh, it's an honor for a little restaurant. <laughs> right. Let's have nine dollars. Write out that I owe you ten silver dollars. Uh -huh. uh, 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 uh. What's the matter? You argue with the society member? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, 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 uh. Friend, if you're in the society, tell us what chapter. White Tiger. Why do you ask? White Tiger? Huh. <laughs> Better tell us who the father is. Hmm. I am. Oh? Then you're the leaping terror, you Haishan? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> that fella can't see what's before his eyes then. Father, you is right here. Huh? <laughs> Shut up. Hey. Your head's a shade too big. I think we'll cut it down to size. Hey, hey, come on, you guys. Hey. Oh, stop it. Yeah. 
friend. I want to talk to you. Ask you something. Creeping around. Perhaps they're following me. Someone noticed you? In the town. Something strange occurred there. What happened? It's a long story. father. You know, money's not the reason for it. Hmm. You're right. He intended to start a fight with that society fellow, to warn me of him. That guy. Could he be the one who shot at us yesterday, hit us in his house? Hmm. Hard to say. This guy looked like a girl in disguise. <sighs> this affair gets worse and worse. You know... Colin, you want to drop it? Why should we drop it? Just now, we're up to our necks. But don't have the faintest clue why. Our chief task now, I think, is to discover some way to get Xiao Ping to our parents safely. Hmm. That's a good idea. The only thing is, where may we find Xiao Ping's parents? <sighs> hey, got it. There's the records office. We could ask the mayor to help us. We're really sorry to trouble you so. Oh, sir, if you only find some way, we'd be glad. <laughs> of course. I know everything that goes on here. How could I not find some way? <laughs> Listen to me. First things, to put you up in the town so you are close at hand. I'll put the men on to finding who this man, uh, uh... Sima Jing. Uh, that's right, Sima Jing. 
This affair is my affair too now. I'll find you a solution. All we want is that little girl. There will be no trouble in finding her parents. Still, that sacred dragon jade. Who knows if it's with Sima Jing or somewhere else at this time? Who knows if the girl's got it on her? What? Such a valuable object. Who would entrust it to a child? Hmm. Just need to lay hands on the girl. To be sure, Sima Jing and the magic dragon jade will fall into our hands now. Say, Chief. That fifth annual Chief's conference of ours. It's not more than a month away from us now. Should we be without the Dragon Jade? Yes, yes, we must have it. If we haven't, the provincial chieftains, when they come here to meet and we're without the Dragon Jade tablet, will think I'm not really the great chief. I could get cast out, expelled. It's so unfair. These provincial chiefs could league together against me. It's so stupid. Please, Your Honor. Those three people have been seen. Oh? This boy doll's been very unkind to the girl. This girl doll's not going to talk to him. <laughs> this boy doll must patch it up. He's got to beg her pardon, ask for forgiveness. Got to show a lot of attention. What then? What then? She'll cuddle him. And after that, the girl will agree to be his wife. <laughs> then both of them will pray to heaven. Wally walla, wally wa, wally walla. This girl doll, she's auntie. This other one's your sweetheart. <laughs> That's nonsense. <laughs> What's the matter? Uh, hey, it's in here. Uh, come in and have a look. This girl, could she be your daughter? Uh. Huh. Uh, Xiao Ping! Oh, you're my poor lost child. Ma, so glad to see you. Ma, so happy you're here. Oh, Xiao Ping! Uh, this man's the one you've been seeking, Sima Jing. This woman is Sima Jing's wife. You are Sima Jing, sir? Uh, yes, yes. I'd just like to take this chance to thank you for looking after our girl. Uh, we can't express how we appreciate all the time and money you spent on her. Please don't talk of reward. But we'd be interested to know why the secret society here wants to get hold of Xiaoping and pursues her so far? Uh, uh, some years ago, that's when I was a lad. I had some pals. We fought with several society members. That's why they want revenge now. They mean to follow us until everyone's been killed. So we thought the only way to save her was send her from home, hide her far away. That was when Xiaoping was an infant. Barely six weeks old. Should she have been harmed? That evil gang. So we sent her off to her grandma's. And now? The mayor has not only done the kindness of getting back Xiaoping, he has also promised a safe passage out of Shandong. I can't start to repay you. Yes. All right, all right. It's time to leave. Could be the secret society's got an idea to stop you leaving. Uh, yes, yes. Oh, uh, this little gift is a small thank you. Hey, now you must take it back. We made friends with Xiaoping. Money wasn't the reason. Mm. So, then I give you my blessings. Uh, all right, come on. Right. Come on, Al. Come on, Al. Uh, Auntie, Auntie. Xiaoping. Uh, there. Uh, Your papa and mama are going now. Please let me stay here with Auntie. We haven't got much time. Come with me, Xiaoping. Uh, now then, you must. Come on. No. Auntie. Come on, Auntie. Don't be silly. Quickly, come on, quickly. Auntie. Xiaoping. Come on. Auntie. Auntie. Come on. Here you are. 
Well, let's go. Sister, we'd better get on and hurry home. But wait! What's the matter? Just now, those two, Sima Jing and his wife, Xiao Ping, soon after her birth, was taken away and brought up by her grandmother alone. So Xiao Ping could remember nothing of her parents. Correct. It's been so many years, the child has grown up. You'd think the mother could only vaguely recall her. She'd not remember her well. Hmm, perhaps. Yet that woman, when she came in, went straight across to embrace Xiao Ping and kissed and hugged her. You think there's something wrong? Hmm, aye. I guess that's right. Of course it is. And now, it's growing even more strange. That one, the father, never showed any sign of affection to Xiaoping. He never made one move toward Xiaoping, nor even called her once by name. That's a strange thing. Then there wasn't much resemblance either. You're right. Another thing, one that clinches it. They might have shown more concern about the granny's death and hardships. Not one question were we asked why old grandmother entrusted the girl to us. Right. That Wang Ma was only beaten up and killed for being with their daughter. To make no mention of the fact, means they're imposters. They've tricked us. Really tricked us. Come on, let's get on after them. Hey, sister. Hey. <laughs> What road did they leave here? I just talked to the waiter. Said they were in a sedan chair with a blue roof. We'd best divide up here. Take that path down there. Right. Are you following that sedan chair? You ought to know. You're preventing me finding them. You're making our society pretty angry, causing trouble everywhere. I'm not interested in your damn society. I just want that little girl again. That little girl belongs to us, so watch yourself. Okay, you. We'll just see what sort of guys you kidnappers are. Get them! Young lady, where do you think you're going? What's it to you where I'm going? Yeah. <laughs> 
to you then. You both seem to be in the society. Just now try to get by a Sima and his wife. Made off with a young girl. Huh. He, he... What's the matter? Now hand me the young girl or I'll end your miserable lives. Give me her and you can save your worthless skins now. I reckon he's the guy. The chief wanted Sima Jing in person. Oh? We must try and catch him. We'll be paid a lot. Mm. Quick. Go see to the girl. I'll see to him. Right. <laughs> 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 I want no trouble with your society. I don't want to kill you. I just like to take away that kidnapped child the way you caught her. Hmm. You've got a fat chance. You kill all the boys in the secret society. Not to mention Chief you. Now you listen. When I'm finished with you, you'll be in pieces. Yeah. Hey. Okay. 
thrown off. How could she? Let's go and find her. How to start? Perhaps she's in the next town by this time. We better go different ways to catch her. Right. Have you found her? I met with a slight obstruction as you arrived. I've just taken care of it. Quite a girl. You made that crowd look pretty stupid. Hey, these guys here, who got rid of this lot? I wondered that too. And still, we can't find Sima Jing in Shaoping. You and I were ambushed. Looks as if this is well planned out. Xiaoping will likely not be safe. I just know that Fo Si Ma Jing killed these guys to keep them quiet, then took Xiao Ping away. Mm, that sounds likely. So Xiao Ping's more in danger than ever. Hey, we better find us soon then. It's so late, where can they have all gone? Hey, they're both out, sir. Open up slowly, let's have a look. You see, wasn't I speaking the truth? Could it be they've escaped? I'm not sure. Their luggage is still all here, and they deposited their cash with us yesterday. Hmm. You listen here. They're both crooks who try to steal children. Someone warned us all about them. We must get them in prison. Oh, that seems pretty unlikely to me. Really? Now you listen good. That pair ever return, you report it to us. Oh, there'll be trouble here. You get me? Huh. Let's go. Hey, 
hidden and keep watch. When those two come back, report to us at once. Sir. Sure. You're back late tonight. There's your key, sir. Open up your cells. Right. You get out the cell. <gasps> Auntie! Shopping! Auntie! However did you get here? We looked all over. Still couldn't find you. There were two guys who made us stop our journey, and then they all began fighting. They were busy, so I slipped away and wandered back into the town. Xiaoping, you're really bright. Those two who said that your parents were pretending. Auntie, you better not stay around here. Hide somewhere. What do you mean? That mayor, he sent a lot of men here to arrest your brother and you. How did you find out? The men didn't see you. I made sure. I crawled under the bed. I heard them say, when you came back here, the doorkeeper had to hurry and report it. I think outside there's a lot of men. The mayor's involved also? He's in the society too. Hmm. Seems. Now they've got all sorts who belong to it. We ought to make preparations for them. You're right. <laughs> I saw them go back into the room. I made off at once to report. It's most odd. Hey there! The back door's open. They slipped out when they heard us coming. Oh. Come on! Yeah. All right. Come on! Yeah. Yeah, come on. Come on, you guys. Come on. Uh. I'll get them this time. Oh. 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 It's all your fault again. We better escape, or they want more trouble. I'll go to see things. You hurry back and see the little three. Let's ask at a house, see if they can give us a bed. It's midnight now. Who would want to open his door to us? Let's try it. Now try another one.
What do you want? It's midnight. Ah, sorry. We've missed our way. Could we stay in your house tonight? Be content with a floorboard for a bed. Ah, so you want somewhere to stay for the night. Uh, but the people here don't usually welcome strangers staying. Yet... It's now midnight. Ah, luckily our house has a spare room. So I will break the rules. Then... Then I'll thank you sincerely. Huh? What's wrong? This good lady is lending us a room here for the night. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It's not very clean, but you'll be quiet enough. It's just for one night. Thank you. You're so kind. <sighs> oh, I expect you three could be hungry by now. Uh, I'll go and cook a little something. Please don't worry. No bother. Uh, this is a nice little girl. Will you tell me your name? My name's Xiaoping. Uh, I'll go make that snack now. I wonder if that lady is really the one I saw in the inn and who warned us to get out. Could be, you're mistaken. Features are the same. The day that I mentioned it to you, I suspected that the guy was a woman dressed like a man. Please don't say we're in trouble again. Right now, it's all my fault. As for her, just watch her carefully. Hmm. Shopping. You go to sleep. I guess you're tired. <clears throat> They've all gone away. Uh, how about you then? Uh. Danger's threatening all around. We must get rid of Xiaoping. She has been so much trouble. We can't abandon her now. It's all because you interfered. If it weren't for Xiaoping, we'd be home safe and sound. <laughs> Our man is nearly gone. What'll we do? And this society will stop at nothing to get us. It's all your fault. The child might only have the same name. Since Wang Ma was beaten to death by the dogs, Xiao Ping's not been heard of. Could it be this couple to charge of her? We must wait. It's impossible to say for sure. We've got to find out. The reason I secretly helped them was only because that little girl is the image of Xiao Ping. <sighs> Sorry it's so long. We're just a poor family, I'm afraid there's not much. Thanks a lot. Don't mention it. Huh? What's happened to the child? She must be hungry as well. Oh, could you see if she's gone to sleep yet? She'd better get up and eat a little of this food, then go to bed. Uh. <laughs> Xiaoping's set off. You mean? Xiaoping's disappeared. <laughs> right then. I think that makes a good explanation. We better hurry and find Xiaoping. Right. We'll go different ways. Huh. Will you both help us? Of course we must help. Brother, are you coming? If you must interfere. Right. Let's go. Fresh vegetables here. Come on, come on. Fresh and relief, fresh and relief. How are you doing? Not bad. <laughs> hey, that kid's stolen a bun. Huh? Hey, hey, stop it. Hey, come hey, come back. <laughs> hey, you kid. Stop it. Uh, hello, hey. You. She's down the bottom. Oh. Hey. hey! Hey! Come back! Hey, come back with that bun, you little thing! Come back! Hey! Thank you. 
here. Hey, stop. You're taking my horse. Hey, look at them. They're taking my horse. Hey, come here. Look, look. They're taking my horse. Come, Donnie. Take his horse. Hey, you. What's the matter? This customer's horse has been ridden off by a thief. This thief now. Please describe him. This little girl has got nothing at all on her, blasted. We spend all day trying to lay hands on her and all for nothing. And she says that she knows nothing. You sure that's the case? You tell me your parents, where are they? Tell me quick now. Since I was small, I've not seen my pa and my ma. How can I know where they are? Innocent child! <laughs> You just speak out, or I'll whip your head. No, 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 hold it, Chief. <laughs> you must not get in such a temper now. I've got a plan to trap Simajing and his wife within three days of now. Huh? Uh-huh. Keep back there. The Bruce. Shopping is just a child. The bullies all deserve death. She'll be exhausted. Shopping! Get her! Oh. Come on. turn up here to rescue that little shopping. If you want to rescue your daughter, that's not too hard. You just hand me the sacred dragon, Jade, and she's yours. Are you really, Mama? Ah! I ask you, please don't hurt her. That sacred dragon has been lost for several years. Been lost for many years? Yes. <laughs> it's true. Oh? If you don't hand over that sacred dragon, Jade, to us, you'll never leave here.
Be followed by those killers, and we're no match for them. Mm. A sacred dragon must be found, or you'll be sorry. The sacred dragon has never been held by us. I'll make you give it to me. It's most important that I get it. You better think again, or you'll not survive another day. Put them in the cellar. Hey, hey, yeah. Yeah. I'm safely tied up. Come on now. Yeah, come on. Let's go. Come on, you. Subatien, you are the murderer of this young woman's father. You served his office as leader of the society. And now you're out to exterminate the rest of them. When will it stop? Who might you two be now? How dare you interfere with Sue Batien's affairs? You must have grown tired of living. <laughs> Chief, those two are the ones who worked against us all the time. Oh? So you are my enemies. You killed three of my assistants, injured several others. Well, you're just the ones I wanted. Can't believe. You've fallen at my feet now. At nobody's feet. It's your neck we're after. I ask you not to be harsh with her. She's a bit soft in the head. I know she couldn't mean it. I think I know why you want these three prisoners. It's to obtain the precious sacred dragon. Am I right? Now it sounds to me, to judge by your words, you could reveal to us just where we could find the sacred dragon. Naturally. But I want to get one condition clear. You promise, when the dragon's in your hands, to release these three people. Hmm. <laughs> yes, of course. What we need is the sacred dragon. They're no use to me. Right. We have got us a deal. Have a look. Is this what? You're looking for? All right now. You've had a good look at the sacred dragon. But 
You first let these folks go. I'll hand it over to you. Now, look at it this way. Why not give it to me? Uh, surely you believe what I say. Then you gotta swear to it. Ah, uh, now, of course. You've heard my words. Why make difficulties? Put the dragon down here, the prisoners go free. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> now, put them all three in the cellar. Right. Hold on. Hold it. So, what again? I believed you were being honest. <laughs> you should learn not to believe such things. I shall eliminate you all. You ought to have your heart and your tongue both cut out. You bastard! Sister. <sighs> Subatien, the affairs of your society should be no business of ours. We promise if you'd please let both of us go, you see the last of us. You hear me? Just let them all go now. You carry on your affairs, we'll go on our way. We'll be careful, too, in future, not to interfere with the society. Hey, brother! Just what are you saying to him? <laughs> now your words are sweet music to my ears. Very humble. Next week, there's the general conference of the society. We don't want the news to leak out. We better seal all of their mouths. <laughs> Young fella, I must sadly break my word. And not them only, you too. I'd better not leave here alive.